okay so this is an amazing 77 carat sapphire that was specced at an award a week or two ago after we've had quite a bit of rain it's huge it's beautiful it's complex so you can see it's got this beautiful light green cross table and then on table it's this beautiful blue green with these amazing silk zoning and a tiny little yellow eye so it's going to be quite a tricky one to facet normally we do not want that bronze oh sorry that bronze into the culet pavilion keel of the gem so it's a bit of a risk and it's going to be a challenge even cutting a stone this size is is a challenge i was thinking about a square cushion but now i'm actually considering more of a diamond type cushion shape as the two sides down the bottom are shorter than the two sides up the top and every millimeter counts in a stone this size we're going to put the silk into the pavilion I'm hoping there's kind of a little clear patch right in the middle there but I know there's going to be some silk most of it I think will come out but there'll definitely be some left and the owner wants it that's the way he wants it done this is a rare exception that I'm making to facet for a friend because it's a large and complicated sapphire that deserves a customized cut and in the end if the silk's a problem he can try to get it heated cutting it any other way would result in a huge loss of material and honestly if that was the top you'd still end up with some silk across the top of the stone if you cut it on table you're going to lose a lot of material and have a completely different shaped stone although you'd probably cut it in half and get two stones but hey let's go for the big stone currently at 75 carats so let's see what we can get out of this one and what fascinating color it will be pretty exciting and pretty scary faceting this kind of sapphire which is huge and rare and it's not my stone so <laughs> that makes it even more um, stressful but once I get the shape sorted out it's pretty much down to just faceting it's getting that initial shape and design worked out which is probably the most important part um, is developing a design that suits the gem so let's see how we go with this one this is what dreams are made of <laughs> 